So I'm looking at Jasmine right now. Uh, let's go to the full hour. Uh, Jasmine has got a 70%, not a 70%, it's got a 7% drop. All right, this is what the full hour looks like. Uh, so far, all right, this is not something that I want to see on the full hour. All right, this is not what a bullish full hour is supposed to look like. Look, it is never a straight line, but this is not what Jasmine needs to look like right now. So what we need is, you know, the price needs to break above this blue line. This white line needs to get back above this blue line. You know, this is the, this is the simplest way for me to explain this to you guys. So we need Jasmine to look exactly like this. Exactly like this. This is exactly how we want Jasmine to look like. You look at the last time when Jasmine was running. We go all the way back. All right. All the way back here, guys. Look, again, it's never pretty. All right. It is never pretty. It is never, you know, a straight line. It is never all roses, but... It's always, always, always very clear. Look, the last time we had a major run, I want you to take a look at what the full hour time frame looked like. All right, white line above the blue line, blue line above the green. This is an A plus setup, price up. Now, of course, Jasmine is a volatile asset, so it's going to be a lot of volatility, but the trend was always very positive. All right, especially this. Especially from right here, like all the way up. Like you see how clean this move was. All right. So that's exactly, this is exactly how we want Jasmine to look like. Now, if you go to the full hour, excuse me, if you go to, to the price right now or the, the present moment, you know, price has, you know, dropped below the green line, which is the 50. Uh, normally, this is not, you know, this is out of character right now. And normally, this is not what price tends to do. You know, we tend to bounce off uh, this 21 moving average. So what, what we want right now is really for Jasmine to get back above 23. All right. If we can get above 2, 3, 1, 4, you know, we get back to, uh, we get back to business. Now, from a long, from a long uptrend, all right, long-term uptrend, what we want is this type of a setup. All right, here we went from 19 all the way up to 45. Right, I want you guys to take a look at this move right here. Jasmine was bullish and we did a 130%. All right, so this is exactly what we want Jasmine to look like. And I don't think we'll have this type of setup as long as the price of Jasmine is below 33. All right, so once we break above 33, by then... We should have the white line above the blue, blue above the green, and we should have, you know, my blue line acting as a support every time there's a pullback. All right, once we break above 33. So this is going to be a process. Now, if you're looking at this, you know, you tell me, is this a bullish market or is this, is, or is this a bullish jasmine or this is a bearish jasmine? You know, to me, this is a bearish jasmine. And again, you know, you may say that this is, you know, the accumulation range, uh, but just because this is the time to accumulate, you know, it doesn't make it a bullish market because you can accumulate something or something can be in an accumulation range and still you end up with, you know, this type of move instead of a move to the upside. So right now I say we have to be careful. All right. The last time we had a retest like this you know, for majority of these old coins, we ended up with, you know, a bigger drop. And I've already talked about, you know, that type of a scenario. I don't need to, to repeat that again. All right. Get, you know, I gave myself about 30 days and I also gave myself, you know, breaking this 33 for that analysis to be invalidated. But anyways, look, if we're looking at the full hour, uh, we need a price of Jasmine to look. It doesn't look that bad. Uh, but we need Jasmine to get back above 23. Now, if you go to the one hour, this is not this is not bullish right here, guys. All right, I want you guys to take a look at this. If you're trading and this is your system, you don't want to be in a position right now unless you are shorting the project. All right, this is what you want the market to or Jasmine to look like. All right, above every single moving average, every single pullback doesn't really. 
lasts very long and price continues to go up. Price continues to go up. All right. On the, but this is the one hour, dude. You know, this video is more focusing on the four hour. I want to, you know, I want to exclude that, that one hour. So we need a price to, you know, to get back above these, you know, above these moving average. And if you guys look, if you don't like this, try a different indicator. Let's do the super trend. Super trend is going to tell you, oh, get into a position right now. Oops, get out of a position right now. This is a super trend right now. Super trend became bullish right here. All right, around 21. And guess what? The super trend has already told you exit this position. All right, get out of this position. Now, if you look, if you trade with a super trend, if this is literally a system, like you are going to have moments where the market is literally just chopping sideways and it's a headache. All right, so this is why I, I don't rely on this. Now, there's going to be moments where you capture a really big rally, and I'll show you guys, you know, one of those moments. If the super trend is your strategy or your your system, this was one of those moments. You got in at 19 and you exited around 36. This goes back to some of the stuff that I explained in the past, guys. All right. There is no system that is going to give you exactly the bottom and exactly the top. So think about this, right? The super trend got you into a position right here. After, let me show you after one move. After a 10% move, and it also got you out of a position after a 17% dump. So you didn't get in exactly at the bottom, and you didn't exit exactly at the top. But you know what you were able to do? You were able to capture this very sizable move. This was a 94% move. All right. And when you jumping in and out of position right here, you get in, you have a stop loss, you get out. This is called risk management. All right. This is called risk management. So if I'm on the four hour and this was my trading system, this is exactly what my, you know, trading book or, you know, my trading would have looked like, you know, these last couple months, right? Here's another good trade. But these ones, you know, you jump in, you jump out, you jump in, you jump out. And that's because the moment you get in, you know, the data looks right. But then, you know, shortly after that, the data change. Once the data change, you have to flip, guys. Some of you guys, you know, you look at my updates and you're like, yo, you were just bullish yesterday. Why are you bearish today? Or you were just bullish two weeks ago. Why are you bearish right now? Well, I'm bearish because the information changed, guys. All right. It's exactly what your systems are supposed to do. All right. Every single day, every single week, every single month. The information is going to change. You know, once the market gives you brand new information and you analyze and it doesn't look good, forget about I was bullish a couple of days ago. No, no, no. I'm bearish right now because I don't like what I see right now. All right. And the next day, once the market turns bullish again, oh, yes, I'm back to being bullish again. Look, I'm not 24 7 bullish on the market. I'm not 24 seven bearish on the market. No, no, no. I am somewhere in between. If the market is bullish, here we go, boys. It's time to be bullish. If the market is bearish, guess what I'm doing? I'm on the sideline and I'm looking at some very bad stuff. Uh, the trend, the trend is what we after. All right. The information is what we after. Opinions, we're not after that. All right, how we feel about the market, the market doesn't care about that. All right, what we think about the market, the market doesn't care. All right, so this is Jasmine right here, and this is exactly what I see, guys. You know, the four hour, we do have a very big support that I want to point out right here, around 18. So regardless of what's happening right here, look, as long as this is not broken in the short term, there's really nothing to worry about. You know, you got 18. And you also got, yeah, you got 19, you got 18. Look, this is not something you worry about right now. But if this was to be broken, uh, then you're looking at a Jasmine that, you know, potentially comes back to retest, you know, 15. But if, if this is not the situation and we actually, if we actually break above 23, I think, right? It's 23 right here. 
Uh, we're going to 27, and I've been talking about 27 for the last, you know, many days right now. 